Hello everyone and welcome to the game Dead Frontier 2. Now, for those of you who might be familiar with Dead Frontier, it's a zombie survival game. Uh, a lot of grinding I have to admit, but it's... Uh, the, the first vers version was a top-down version of this game. It was pretty good, I played it quite a bit. But yeah, like I said, it was a lot of grinding. And the actual gameplay itself, it, it was good, but... Yeah, it, it was too much grinding. It, it didn't really feel like you were actually trying to survive. This game, however, has a very, very different feeling to it because it's, of course, a uh, third-person shooter. Well, should I call it a shooter? Uh, a third-person game, at least. We're currently at our uh, base, a police station. You can trade some things that you can find. Uh, you can find loot everywhere and you can trade it over here. You can train some skills from what I understand. I actually... <laughs> I should level up before uh, before I'm able to show you that. But what I understand at level 20, you can reset your level back to level 1. But then you keep your skill points. Something like that. It's... Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not at that point yet. The game only came out yesterday. So yeah, <laughs> I'm not even close to that point yet. And for the rest, you can talk with other people and they sometimes give you quests, things like that. You also have a stash in the main base. I have some, uh, mostly some bullets stored, some guns as well. I'm currently equipped with, there we go, with a rifle. It's uh, pretty good. What you might immediately notice is the way that the, 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 the weapon is... How, how do you call that? Uh, while, it, while it's aiming, you can see the points in the middle. And you can see that it's slowly going into the center. It just means that you really need to take your time to aim. Because the faster you shoot, the more inaccurate your bullet will be. And I think that's a very good feature. It fits the, it fits the kind of game it should actually be in most games like that. But I think it's, it's really good that they added something like that in the game. You can see that that's in green right now. That means that there's a quest over there, I've currently, I can show you, uh, four quests active. I think it's this one. We need to find Jessie uh, Tailey alive, or find evidence of her death. Uh, we're going to try that in a moment, but before I'm going to do that, I'm first going to show you my car. It's, uh, it's a long way, actually, <laughs> from the police station. It's just one road, this uh, this level over here, but you can travel to other areas with your car. I haven't actually done that yet. Uh, probably won't be doing that in this video, but maybe I'll make more videos if I enjoy this game enough. So you can manage your equipment here. You can see that all my uh, stuff is damaged, except for the uh, exhaust. I actually have some more fuel, which we can add to the car. There we go. And when I press it, review, you can see on top of the screen uh, how much fuel I have. And that just allows you to travel further. Because when we go travel, let's say we want to go to Coopertown. A uh, distance of 8 miles, so it takes me uh, about two-thirds of a gallon uh, to travel there. See, it also requires some food and water to travel there. But uh, Yeah, that, that's just how traveling works. I'm not sure if this is everything, because I noticed that the max level is 20. So there might be more territories at some point. Or level 20 is just extremely difficult already. There's a new player over here, he doesn't wear a shirt. I don't know why. It uh, seems a bit too cold for not wearing a shirt. I mean, it's raining, so I, I, would, not, uh, I, would, not, I would not do that. So there's a... Uh, ow. Zombie over here. Hey, stop it. You should be stunned. Ow. Alright, so we took some damage. Let's see what we have in terms of uh, healing things. Some antibiotics, antiseptic spray and some bandages. Uh, but we still have enough health, so I'm not going to use it at this moment. You can see that there's also energy, which, re which is uh, food. And some hydration, which is of course uh, water or other drinks. Uh, I've noticed that finding drinks is pretty hard at this point. Food is easily enough uh, to find, but water is actually pretty difficult to find. Um, I'm not sure what happens if you lose all of it, if you die or 
Did you just lose some skills or something? Uh, I, I really can't say. An old key, sure. Hello. So let's start looking. Did I actually go into the right building? I think I did. Alright. Um, let's kill this guy first. Die. There we go. So I'm using a stick right now. I do have a gun. No, I'm not interested in that. Um, that's this one. I have uh, 44 bullets, which is of course a nice amount of bullets. But yeah, the reason... Which one did I look up? I think the other one. There we go. Ooh, 14 more bullets. That's nice. Uh, bullets are quite limited. I mean, they're not extremely rare, but they are limited. So you have to be a little bit careful with how much of them you use. Also, because... Yeah, I'm in the right building. Okay. So, because um, you can also sell things and bullets because they are... Um, because you can only use them once, basically. Uh, they tend to sell for a good price. So, as soon as I only have to fight one enemy... Is this already the quest? No. I thought that zombie who I can loot, maybe it... Uh, it has some remains. A wallet. Oh, that could be her then already. Yeah. So I found... Oh, hello. Let's shoot this one. I have the bullets. There we go. Nice headshot. So I already found her wallet, which means that I've completed the quest. I'm going to uh, move a bit for further into this building. Just to explore a little bit. Uh, maybe find some loot which I can use. Uh, things like that. This is... I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> Something that you will might notice is... Uh, th this happens to me quite often that I'm going into the wrong direction. Uh, there, There's... Hello? No, let's use a wooden stick again. This is actually the, the starting melee weapon. It's not very good. But it still does the job. I could have bought other melee weapons. But I didn't really want to do that. Already killed him. Very good. Coffee. Yeah, sure. Uh, uh, that's a, uh, a coffee bar or something, I think, isn't it? I think so. So we got some soda. That's very good because it also... Uh, well, it also decreases your thirst, of course. Let's go up the stairs. You'll notice that it's a lot of uh, different uh, instance-based uh, parts in the game. Damaged tires. Hmm. I suppose I already have those. That's up. Iron key and an old key. Wow. So within the buildings, uh, you have these locked off rooms. And generally by just uh, looting the place, you will find the keys to get in there. There we go. I think another one just joined me. Tin sausages. No thanks. Or actually, yes, thanks. <laughs> Die, zombie. There you go. Right, that's it here. I already got a key, didn't I? Yes, I did. Howdy. So these uh, bigger zombies, they take a lot more damage. So, uh, with my rifle, I actually have to hit them twice. There we go. But, uh, yeah, as soon as I end, uh, get into combat with two enemies, I, yeah, I just make sure that I shoot one of them. Because I can only hit one at the same time with my melee weapon. And if I hit one, I'll get attacked by the other one. Which means that I will take damage. It's busy here. Right, he's going into melee. That could be a special zombie, seeing he has uh, green stuff running out of him. But if we'll just shoot him from... What are you doing? I, I'm a terrible shot. <laughs> Normally I don't miss this much. Oh, this is definitely a, uh, a strong zombie. There we go. Come on. Die. He is taking a lot of bullets. 
Looks like it's uh, like a boomer from uh, Left 4 Dead. He's uh, there. We go. What is that? Does it? Uh, ow! Die! Frigging worms! All right, let's uh, see what he has. Oh, there's another one here. God damn worms! Don't like you. All right, I think I've got them all now. A rare shirt, sure. Hello, zombie. So you hear a, zo um, a radio in the background. It's uh, I've never actually waited to listen what it says, as if it f actually says anything useful. But uh, it, it, it does help with a pretty scary vibe of this game. I do have to admit, now that I've been playing a little bit longer, it's uh, it's not that <laughs> not, not that impressive anymore, the, the surrounding. But it still has a pretty good vibe. Hello, fatsos. One. The other one will just hit. This uh, this game can of course be played in groups. Phew, yeah, sure. Um, which does make the game a lot easier. You can see that we're, now that we're hitting it with the two of us. That was weird. He was getting hit while none of us was striking. Uh, that was interesting. But yeah, playing with a group can definitely make this game a whole lot easier. Uh, loot is player based, so uh, the fact that I'm taking this loot doesn't mean he can't loot it anymore. And because of that it's just really a big advantage to just go around together. There we go. So we have a nice amount of bullets being uh, that they're one hit one kill. Oh, you killed that guy. No. What, your profile. There we go. More fuel, sure. Think we have company. Yes, we do. Oh, no, 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 no. Generally, if you uh, miss one of your strikes, you uh, he, he will try to strike you. And you might take some damage. They don't do too much damage, though. So, it's... Uh, it's not horrible for. Uh, <laughs> it's not a horrible experience to get it every once in a while. There we go. See what this closet has. Bandages, sure. The game is instance based, and you will notice that uh, there are several instances of the same area. And the reason for that is simply because otherwise it would be very crowded within a small area. And seeing the kind of gameplay that this game is trying to accomplish, which means uh, small amounts of players and things like that, it wouldn't really work to make it a single instance. So I think that in this game it actually works. I, I'm generally not a fan of it, but yeah, I think in this game it's, it's definitely a good decision. I want some donuts. Sure. So I could, uh, oh yeah, I've been here before. Hello. Mm -hmm. Travel to show, sure. Oh, there's another one here. I actually haven't been here. This is a different building. The, um, yeah, there's a lot of similar looking buildings. What the hell is that? Sounds like medicine. F plus five, okay. Not too, not too interesting. I'll use one bandage because I'm uh, pretty wounded actually. There we go. Wear a shirt. It should be better than a normal shirt. Yeah, this doesn't do anything because 2% uh, of 24 is 0. <laughs> so that doesn't work. Let's see, we have some drinks. I noticed in the lower left corner that there were some messages of um, what was going on with my character. There's one that's, that I have mail, and I think that's simply about uh, selling some resources. But there's also one that simply says that I'm thirsty. So let's get a soda and some iced coffee. 
There we go. It's um, it's not great, my uh, hydration, but it's good enough for now. Causes stimulated. What does that mean? I'm stimulated now. Oh, that, that's useful. Sure, I'll take it. Right then, uh, let's explore this uh, this building a little bit. But yeah, like I said, a lot of buildings feel very much the same. Uh, the same kind of rooms and things like that. It's, uh, it's a bit of a shame that they feel so much alike. But at the same time, it's also fine. It's, uh, I mean, you can't expect them to make 3,000 unique rooms. It's uh, a small developer. I actually think that it might be just a single guy. But I'm not sure if that's correct. Um, it might be a couple of guys, but it's it's not a team of like a hundred people. Let not even thirty people. It's uh, yeah, it's it's probably will be a handful of people working on this game. Ow! Can you die, please? There we go. Iron key, sure. Oh, hello. I'm going to ignore this one. <laughs> I, I I don't like him. Iron key, that's this one. So these rooms for which you need keys generally uh, are a little bit more difficult. But they should also provide better loot. This here. This one down. Is that a special one? I'm not sure. I think it's just a normal uh, big one. Really? More? Die, please. Die. No, don't. Ow. Ah, oh, they keep coming. Alright, let's use some more bullets. I missed. She's not dead yet. Which probably means that she is some kind of special. Let's just shoot some more bullets. Yeah, she's definitely a special one. She better drop something nice for me. Don't want to just waste all my bullets. Alright, that one is down. Can we kill you as well? Yes, we can. Ah, another one. They, they just keep coming. Okay, die. On average, it takes about four or five hits with uh, melee weapon to kill those. Nice. What do you have? Ow! Oh, those stupid bugs again. Or insects, or whatever they are. No, 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 no. There we go. Any more of them? Oh, stop coming in. Okay. You will die as well. Have it your way. Oh, there's so many of them every time. Oh, I missed. Yeah, that, that's supposed to happen. Yeah, there's two of them. I should have shot one of them. This one I should be able to take out with melee again. There we go. Finally loot this thing. A rare t-shirt. All of that for a rare t-shirt. Unbelievable. I already had one of those. Hello? Oh, you're standing. No, you're crouching. Okay. I'm just going to loot this thing and uh, get out of here. Phew, sure. Holy shit. 
Ow, ow, ow. That was <laughs> that was a bit unexpected. Jesus. That was painful. I'm down to 16 health. Wow. Alright, then uh, let's use some of our stuff. This is not enough to uh, completely heal me back up. I've uh, this is the first time I took this much damage. All right, then. Well, we're pretty good shape again, like this. I think that I'm going to end the video here. We're at uh, 20 minutes now. I just uh, wanted to give you a little look at what this game looks like, what it's about. Um, I I think it's pretty cool. I'll definitely play more of it. I don't know if it will be a game that I'll play for hundreds of hours. But it's it's definitely a pretty cool game. And I could recommend it. It's for free on Steam. So you can just download it and play it straight away. And I think I'm going to end the video there. So don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you all for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.